are making a crowd pleasing cheesy chicken dip. This is the large serving bowl. I've already put um, our cream cheese, mozzarella cheese in there. We're going to add mayonnaise and this is our measure all cup. Perfect for mayonnaise, peanut butter, honey, anything that's kind of like gooey like that. You just set it for the amount you want and then you just pop it and it comes right off. And what I love about these stackable measuring spoons is we have a half a tablespoon, which makes things so much easier when you're measuring and you need half a tablespoon. And then we are going to crush garlic. And this is our garlic press. I use this almost on a daily basis. You can put the clove in there with the paper on it. You just squeeze it. If you have any trouble getting the paper out, it comes with a little tool that makes it easy to remove the paper or anything stuck in there. I'm going to do tomatoes and I put them in our manual food processor because uh, my husband doesn't like tomatoes so I'm going to make these really small for him. This little gem is awesome for making salsa too. You can always make your uh, onions, tomatoes, whatever as small or as chunky as you want. I'm cooking my chicken in the non-stick skillet and I wanted to quickly show you that our skillets now come with interchangeable and removable handles. So you can pop them in the dishwasher when you're done for easy cleanup or if you're cooking something that needs to go from the stove top to the oven, you can take the handle off when it's in the oven and then when it's time to take it out, you just pop it back on. And there you go. Salad choppers are awesome. You can use them, of course, for chopping up salad, but they work fabulous on uh, chicken. Chopping it up if you're making chop, uh, chicken tacos or anything that you want your chicken chopped up. And now we're gonna slice our baguette and we're gonna fan these around our dip in the bowl. There you have it. Can you see that? Put a little bit of oil on my bread and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this decadent dessert is to make. It's called chocolate peanut butter lava cake. Mmm. So first of all, it's gonna be all done mixed in one pan or rock crock. Now the awesome thing about our rock crocks is they can go in the oven, they can go on the stove top, in the microwave, even on the grill. But today we're gonna to use the microwave for a cake. Really? It's true. Oh, and they're dishwasher safe. Again, you gotta love that. Everything should be dishwasher safe in my book. Anyway, I mixed the devil's food cake mix with the eggs and the oil already. We're going to add a cup of uh, chocolate chips. And then we're going to put some scoops of creamy peanut butter. This is our large scoop. These come in three sizes and they're so awesome anytime you need to scoop anything. So we're gonna do peanut butter and we're gonna do, ah, let's do three scoops of peanut butter. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave anywhere from nine to 11 minutes, just depends on your microwave. How easy is that? Now it's time for wine. With our electric wine opener, it has a stand, but the stand is also the foil cutter. So it does double duty. And then you just, watch how easy this is. And it's got a cool light. So you just hold it down and it comes right out. And then you just push the button the other way. Can it be any easier than that? It also is rechargeable. And when you're serving your red wine, we have an aerator and I love this. So you just put it into the bottle and then you can just pour your wine and it aerates as it's pouring. Oh, and if you wanna chill your white wine or your champagne, we have the chiller. It has a little um, tray that goes with it. So if it condensates and drips, it goes into the tray. So you're drinking champagne and you just feel like having one more glass, but you really don't want to open the whole bottle because it'll lose its fizz if you don't drink it all at one time. We got the answer to that. Champagne stopper and it works so awesome. So it's got to be at least two weeks that this cap has been on this bottle of champagne. So let's let it go and see. Oh my gosh, did you hear the pop? Now let's see if it has fizz. 
it is left in it. It does. Look at that. It sounds stupid. A scoop in the what? Sometimes foil can be tricky. Red wine and chocolate cake. You gotta love that.